Hey everyone, in this video, let's do a comparison of free file sync and sync thing. In order to do so, here we are at syncthing.net and we're also at freefilesync.org. When comparing free file sync and sync thing, it's important to consider what you need in terms of features, usability, and specific use cases you're targeting. Here's a brief comparison between the two. Free file sync is uh, file synchronization and backup software. It's designed primarily for manual synchronization and backup tasks. It allows you to compare and synchronize files and folders across different storage locations. It offers a user-friendly graphical interface, making it easy for users to set up sync tasks without much technical knowledge. It's cross-platform with Windows, Mac, and Linux. It creates various synchronization methods can handle large files and folders efficiently, includes a batch processing feature for automating tasks. It allows for scheduled syncs via system task scheduler. It supports versioning, enable you to keep old versions of files. It works offline and doesn't require a network connection for local sync tasks, and it's free and open source. SyncThing, on the other hand, is continuous file synchronization software. It's designed for real-time synchronization across devices. It is peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning that data is synced directly between devices without a central server. It features a web-based interface that may require more technical knowledge for initial setup compared to free file sync. It is cross-platform for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android, and it features real-time synchronization, meaning changes are synced immediately across devices, it supports versioning and audit logs, configuration can be more complex, but provides extensive options for customization and control. It is network efficient with options for rel relaying through other peers if direct connections are not possible, it supports encrypted data transfers for online security. It's ideal for use when devices are connected to a network, but can also function over local connections, and it is also free and open source. In summary, choose free file sync if you need a street straightforward solution for one time or scheduled backups and prefer a graphical interface for manual control, or choose SyncThing if you need continuous real-time synchronization between devices, especially in a distributed environment where devices may not always be online simultaneously. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe, and don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you take a look in the description, you will find a link to our link tree. There you'll find links to our X account. We just got started there. We'd love to have you. We also have information on our int upcoming intro to AI webinars, and you can take advantage of discount co code SKILLCRAFT60 to get 60% off your subscription to Sintra and find links to Cider AI and EnzoBot. Click on those links to get started. You'd be helping us out as well, and we would greatly appreciate it.